Hey guys, it's me Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my pencil case and this is, I know I did a like what's in my mini pencil case video a long time ago, um, like literally like a few months ago and now I'm going to be doing a what's in my main pencil case and I know this is the same one that I said that was in my last video like last year but it's, it's still in very good shape and I love the bubble hard tops because they keep everything so organized. But the paint on the zips is kind of coming off and it's kind of getting gross. But I've had so many of these pencil cases and end up drawing on them. But this one I kept clean because I love it. And I'm pr I probably might get another one of these because they have some really cool designs coming out. Like the fruit ones and stuff. And I know I'm in a very different background. I'm downstairs at the dining table. So on the back I just put this, which is my name. And year five, but I'm not in year five anymore, but he even looks on the back. So yeah, so that's just how it looks, and it's from Smickle. So, when you, I'm gonna kind of move it down to there, and sorry, that's my drink I was drinking. My little juice, the juice. So, this is what happens when you open it, and I've got a different pencil case that holds like textures and crayons, so um, that's just how everything looks. So let's just get started in this net, these netting kind of pockets. I might need something to lean it on. I'll lean it on this. Alright, so in this biggest netting pack pocket right here, this one, it holds all my coloured pencils and I've got lots of coloured pencils because these are like these art ones with like really good they're really good and they're like I don't know my friend Sienna calls these nude pencils because there's no like like there's not a print on them but I don't know and they have the little colored thing and I love these pencils and they just kind of fit back here so then this front little laminated why am I saying laminated it's because it's leading on my laminated so um yeah so I'm gonna get started with these scissors. These are just my scissors for school and not very exciting, just my scissors. Um, then I've got these Smiggle highlighters and not everything of mine is from Smiggle. Um, in fact, these, I don't know whether they're from, I think they're from Kmart, but these were from Smiggle and they're these little mini ones that my um, friend Amy got me. And okay. so this, the thing that's really cool about them is one side is a t is a highlighter side with like a wider kind of part for highlighting and they smell really good and the other side is a pen like if you wanted to write in um, the highlighted color and I think that's really really cute okay so that it just comes in all those colors and they're the only other colors I ever use but orange I don't really use a lot or purple because purple doesn't, is, a, is normally very dark. So, and then next I have this little rubber slash um, sharpener. And surprisingly, normally I have like hundreds of rubbers, but I only decided to use this thing because it has a very good rubber. And it just looks like that. And it's kind of swervy, but it's really cool. And then in the other side, like here is where you put your pencil to sharpen it. And then down here is where all the shavings are. Like, I can't really take it off, but there are the shavings. In there, I don't want to make a mess. So, yeah, and by the way, I just finished with my homework and I decided I am going to film a video, so. Oh my god. And in case you didn't know, I'm in the sixth grade this year. So. That's that one, and it's kind of like swirly, and this reminds me of a little Pokemon thing, I don't know, but. So, I just stick my scissors in there. So, that's what's in there. And I'm moving over to this little pencil holder thing. Ah, I keep pencils. So, this one is another one that my buddy got me, um, or Amy, I should say. Um, it's because she was she's like way younger than me and we do this thing in my school called buddies and it's really fun Maybe if you do it, then you know what I'm talking about She got me this for Christmas this for Christmas and it came in a big whole pack But anyway, and they're all matching and it's just these winter like ice creams and sorbet um, There was a sorbet on here there or frozen yogurt. I don't know 
But I thought this was really, really, really cute. So, yeah. And then I have these three Papermate pencils, and these are very good pencils. Um, yeah, I'm just, that's all I have really have to say about these. They're very good. And I have three others, but I decided just to use three because we're only supposed to have four lighter pencils. And I still write in pencil, although I have my pen license, as you can probably tell. So then I have these two um, art line pens, and it doesn't have a thing on the thing. And look at how fine tip these are. Whoa. And they write really nice. And this is more for art, but sometimes I use it to write. So then I have this big one in case maybe I'm just going to like, um, say a different class, like going to my cultural literacy. Um, I'll normally just take this thing, or I'll normally take my whole pencil case, but yeah, this is just really handy and it has four colors, it has. And this is by Paper May, and my friend Eve got me this and she has a channel too. I just don't know if she has that many videos on it. And it's just by Bic. I don't know if you guys can see. You probably can't see it, but it says Bic right there. Yeah. So, and it comes in, it has green, blue, um, black, and red. And it's right, really nice. I haven't really used this much yet. Um, but yeah, it's just this blue and white pen. So... Then I have these three Papermate pens. Uh, I'll just get them out. And they're just the basic colours that we write in. We don't really write in black that much, but we if we normally have the option of black or blue, whatever we prefer. But so I have this Papermate blue, which will, they all write really nice. And this Papermate red for marking. Like, because what we do is the teacher normally tells us the answers and we tick it or not, and then we hand it up to her to make sure we haven't cheated or anything. And yes, I did do a little tattoo thing, but it's temporary, don't worry. And then I have this paper mate one as well, and it's black. So, yeah, and I'm sorry if you can kind of hear music and stuff in the background, the radio um, thing is on, because I'm downstairs, and obviously I don't have the quiet of my own room. So that's what's in this pouch. These pouches right here. These two go together because this is like quite a bit more stretched and this one kind of has to go by itself because the two don't fit in there. And this one goes by itself and these two are together and these four pencils are together. So then when you flip it over, normally most people put their sharpeners in this part but, but this part got full of shavings, I'll show you guys. And it's really gross, but I keep my glue stick up here because when it, obviously when it goes like that, it's kind of like a little thing there and that's really, really helpful. And that's just my glue stick. I'm gonna actually switch out this glue stick for one I have in my desk and it's called a blue stick and it's like a better quality one, but this one still works just fine because I always like to have an extra glue stick in my bag because they always dry out on me. And I don't know if anyone else does that, but. Yeah, it just has these red circles, and this one is just a white blue. But it, oh my god, it smells so bad. It smells like fish. And then also in the back, I don't know if, I, if that was in there before, but I have this little ruler that Amy also got me, and it looks just like a 15 centimeter ruler with these cute, here, these are all the patterns that was on everything. And this little rotator. And then it turns into a 15 centimeter. And I find this really helpful and really easy and portable. Just one thing that I wish it had was like when you put it up, it would stay, but it's not. See, I don't know, but it's still really awesome. And so it just has this squiggly line on the bottom. So obviously you only use the top and it has its little measurements like all rulers have. And it's also a little stencil. And for some reason, I don't know why, but you know, when you've been writing for a long time and your hand gets really sore, um, what I do is I get this and I put it here and it just makes it feel better and it's very massaging and I, I don't know, I just like to make annoying noises so I do that because why not and yeah and the good thing is I'm the only one in my class who has this ruler or at least I think I am 
so yeah so that's basically all the ones in my pencil case and i just keep that one like that actually used to be here with this stuff but it was too hard to like get out and in so then i just moved it in there and i'm I, what i'm gonna do actually is i'm probably gonna get a little notebook of mine and just like put it there in case i need to take notes and write down my homework for the night because i always bring this pencil case in. so yeah that's what was in my snuggle pencil case um i think these are like four i don't know if they sell these kind anymore they're more into the new brands now but like just a quick overview that was nice so yeah and it only falls down because it's on the seat. and i just like to say something in the back pouch like some people call it a secret compartment i don't really think that is but um some people put pens and stuff there and when you open it if you're opening it like a book it would obviously fall out so i guess that was all for this video and um yeah so i guess i'll see you guys in my next video and i wasn't trying to brag or anything and i hope that you all who go to school still um had had a great start to school and i just need a drink because i'm really thirsty so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah love you